So I just wanted to make a video really quickly about this software called Shaka. It's open source. Um, it works pretty well for an open source video editor. I mean, there's a lot of them that have issues. and I think Shaka does a pretty good job. I specifically want to look at the uh, slideshow generator. I think that works pretty well. And I know there's plenty of other software that you could generate slideshows from, but I particularly like the way that Shaka does it. So we're just gonna make a new project. Um, 1080p, 30 FPS, that's fine. And I'm gonna grab all my photos because uh, with the slideshow, you're gonna need your photos and they are in here there we go here's all my beautiful computer photo people and we're just going to drag them all the way over to our little playlist right here this little panel and you can see they're all here right now we're going to make sure that you select every picture you want in your slideshow which is probably all of them you can hit this little playlist menu right here and we're going to go add selected to slideshow now this is really cool because it gives us this preview down here what it's going to look like before we even add it so i guess that's cool um you could change things like the clip duration i'm going to do five seconds um aspect ratio conversion i really Really like this and right now it's in crop center I mean crop center works pretty well it's gonna cut off a few of your images so you might want to change it like crop and pan I guess that's cool I mean you can go across the images I really like the pad blur um it could do with a little work I'd almost want to have a drop shadow on the edges and the blurring method it uses on the sides isn't necessarily great I would like a Gaussian blur it uses some crappier blurring technique so you see a little bit of blockiness but it gets the job done if you're trying to do it quickly um or you could just do the black and it just zooms. I'm gonna do pad blur. The zoom effect, I really like this. You can change the speed in which it zooms. I'm gonna go 5%. And then the transition duration, I usually like to go, we're gonna go like 0.7 or something. And this is also really cool is you could change each of the transitions. I could do random. It could just change randomly. Let's see what this looks like. I mean, that's cool if you're into weird transitions. I'm just gonna leave it on dissolve. We can hit okay. This is really cool. It's like a little script almost. You can see each of the uh, clips getting appended to the timeline. And you can play them back. Um, if you're getting laggy playback on your computer, which you probably are, I mean, I got laggy playback when I first tried it on this laptop, you're going to want to go to settings, and then you're going to want to make sure you turn off frame dropping and scrub audio. And then I also went to preview scaling, I turned this down to 360p just so it can handle it better, I guess. Turn on use proxy and then use hardware encoder and then just configure it. If you have like an NVIDIA GPU or whatever, you can select these right here, which works good. And the last setting that you want to turn on if it's still lagging for you is the interpolation. I just went to nearest neighbor from bilinear. Bilinear obviously looks way better, but just for viewing it, if you want to have it playing at full speed, I just turned that on to uh, nearest neighbor, which is good. And you can see it does its transitions. It zooms the images, basically everything you'd want from a slideshow. Um, yeah, it's uh, pretty good. And once you're uh, done with your slideshow, obviously you want to export it. So let's do that. We're going to hit export. Actually, you probably don't want to use the hardware encoder because it will be less compressed. As, as soon as the GPU touches the video, it's not as good as compressing it. So I would actually leave that off. And then you have all these presets. I would just do like H.264 main or high, whatever you want. Do export file. Um, we can rename it computer people. And it will be exporting right here as a job and it is one person okay so now the video is done and we can uh, preview it in its glorious quality as you can see our uh, beautiful computer people slideshow is now complete you can enjoy this abomination forever now in its endless looping 22 second glory of slides